Yo guys, what up? Me, Patrick LeVar, back again with another quick Octane video. Um, I downloaded this uh, plugin uh, add-on for Blender called, uh, let's see here, lagging a little bit because of the screen recorder. I downloaded this plugin basically called Octane Helper. It was a free add-on. You can download it. Um, I'll put the link down in the description. Uh, but basically, it's, uh, I think I got it on GitHub or something. But anyways, super fantastic, super quick and easy. Um, if you saw in the previous video, I showed you guys how to set up a, a quick, uh, how to set up your scene and your camera for the Octane render. Uh, let me just scroll this up so we can get a little plane here. But this was a super game changer for me. This really helped out on making materials. So I got my cube here, right? If I just right click on my mouse and you'll see here, I got this Octane tab. Here we got Octane materials, environments render like i haven't even gotten into all of this stuff and then check this out info you can it'll send you to places to get help i mean this super fantastic but i want to quickly just show you about the materials here and how easy it is to set them up so if you click on materials you scroll down to shaders here's all the basic shaders are the same ones in the note and in, in the uh in the if we go into shader view all the node compositor it's the same thing but it's just a, it's a quicker way to grab them and for example here i'm just going to click on this and we'll hit diffuse Boom, it slaps a diffuse on. Let's go into the shader tab so you can see this here. Drop in from object to, there we go. Now we're in object. It basically just dropped this in. It's all set up here. I can change the color. Uh, let's turn the render back on. I can change my color here. Fantastic. Again, smoothing. You want to keep those hard edges or you can basically tap smooth to smooth it out. But I got a cube here, so we'll take that off like that. So fantastic, super easy. And another thing here, we'll do it again. I'll click on this bottom one, right? Right click, Octane shaders and let's say okay we want a glossy material on this one here so boom we got a glossy material let's make this a darker color so we can see some reflections boom there we go and then it, here's your roughness values they're very small like 0 0.0 you know 0 0.63 so if you want to go more 0 0.02 now we got it like super glossy there fantastic now what if i wanted to add like a texture to this so again right click octane uh convert to hang on hang on what did i do on that one uh i think actually this one okay we have to go in the long way so but let me show you a quick uh, another quick tip if i hit shift a and then basically octane shaders here's all those shaders that same list that we saw earlier but if we go down to octane textures and then here's my octane text i'm going to right click and then say add to quick favorites okay boom now let me clear out so now if i basically just hit q on my keyboard Boom, there's my image text and boom, it drops it in. You can do that with all of them. Like if you use glossy a lot, basically you can just come in here again, shift A, go to your shaders, glossy, right click on your mouse, add to favorites. Now, if I come in here, I just hit Q, boom, there's my glossy material, boom, drop it in. Super fast and easy. So here's my, my image texture. Again, I'm gonna plug that into the diffuse and I'm just gonna load in a quick image texture here I got off screen. All right, so I got my image texture in here and you can see I have it plugged in the diffuse, which is actually wrong. Let me take that and we plug that into the roughness. So boom, there's the roughness. Again, if you wanna control those values, you use your gamma and your power. So if I set this to zero, you can see how it's super like uh, kind of diffuse. And then if I set this to zero, it's super glossy. Let's set this to like 0.5. And now you can see there we go. And then if I can just basically crank on this here, up oh, there we let me zoom in just a little bit so we can see these a bit a little bit better so boom there you go you got you can play with this here to really dial it in and stuff like that again and if you wanted to fix the size on it again i showed you earlier hang on we'll go ahead and right click uh actually we'll go to shift a transform you'll be using the full transform a lot right click add the favorites and then boom q full transform boom there it is just drop it in transform and then i can hit my scale select them all hold shift and i can scale this up or down and do as i please there super fantastic right one other quick note if you hit control b you think like in cycles this basically will just isolate your render but in cycles it does not in cycles it basically just keeps rendering if you see here like my original it says here max samples for my viewport was 100 
but it just keeps going. It doesn't stop. So it's just like if you want to see what it's going to look like in a final render, keep note of that. So don't, you know, select this and think you're only rendering just this and you can hear my, my GPU is just grinding. It's just going to keep rendering nonstop. It'll just keep rendering and rendering and rendering. So keep that in uh, control. Alt B, get rid of that. So that's quickly how you can add in some shaders uh, really fast. Let me jump back in the camera. Let's zoom back out. And then if I wanted to add a light in, again, shift, add a plane, G, Z it up here. I'll add it up here and then we'll scale it up a little bit. Right click on it, Octane Materials, RGB Admission. Boom, there it is. Here's, I can select my color. Uh, let's get something a little bit more tight, like a tint, a little bit of blue here, like we're doing an LED light. And power set to 10, I just basically hit OK. Boom. And then here you go, you got, it's all set up here. Now you're like, well, how come I don't see the light? Well, if you look at the plane, it's actually upside down, right? So it's facing up. So you could just rotate the plane or you can hit double sided. And now you can see we got our light here. And let's actually go ahead, I'm gonna uh, quickly here, play with it, scale this on the X, right? Scale, nope, scale X. And I'm just going to basically shift D, duplicate X, group those together, make a quick little LED light set up here. Control J, shift D, X, boom. All right. And put those together, shift Control J, boom. So I got a little, a little light set up here, basically. Bring that up. And again, they're at 10. You can play with your power here. Let's go 25. So I think, uh, I'm not sure, but I think it's like that would represent 25 watts. Um, so I, I'll have to do some research, but I think that's what it's based on. And then again, keep surface brightness. If you turn that off, it's kind of like um, you wanted to keep the brightness. If you wanted just to keep overall intensity, uh, you can hit this to keep intensity. And then it basically ups like that. But um, you can play with those. See what works best for you. Let me take this back down to, let's say, like 25. So that's quickly easy how you guys can uh, basically add in some materials and stuff. Uh, super easy, super fantastic. Again, let me just drop and scroll that down. I can right click on this, Octane, right click, again, materials. Oh, uh, if you want to kill that material, oh, uh, this is basically where you can, uh, if you want to quickly name it, if you want to do another one, which is really cool. And then if I go in here, you can select all the other different types of materials. Oh, you want a clear glass material here. And there's our roughness of the glass. There's our glass index. Hit OK. And then boom, now you got glass. If you're going to do glass, you want to turn off smoothing right there and then possibly turn on fake shadows. That also helps with rendering. And then boom, we got glass. We can turn our roughness down to zero if we want. And then boom, very good. And actually our transmission, I put to one. And there you go. We got glass now. So I hope this helps out, guys. Download the link. Um, I'll have the link down in the description for you guys. And other than that, keep filming, keep rendering. Patrick LeVar, if you like this, smash that like button and share. Peace.